Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, hi, welcome. That aside, let's get into this. You have to have your window. They used your sixth sense, which could help you look into a person's mind. And since you made physical contact with Dunky, he was able to travel into his mind. He looked around his surroundings. He was the place he was was in the demon dungeon. It was surrounded by demon guards. No way you could get him out, let alone by yourself. You begin to think. You quickly turn back inside your window. Then, an idea popped in your head. You can get people from UA to come and help you, plus the angel army. You went back to bed and brought up your ideas to your mother this morning. Mom, come on. These people are not just ordinary people. They have powers. They can help get back Denki. Sweetheart, no, it's too dangerous. Mom, but it'll be more safer to me for me if more people come, right? Fine. But just don't get hurt, okay? Will do. You quickly fly down to Earth. Then you teleported to Class 1A. You can see they were in the middle of the session. Then you revealed yourself. Everyone stared at you then, got ready their quirks. Wait, wait, hold up, come I come in peace, I'm not a villain. Don't shoot. Everyone put down, everyone calmed down for a little while. And Mr. Aizawa's hair went back down, and his eyes turned back black. Now, who are you and what are you doing here? I need you guys' help. For what? It's about Denki. Everyone, everyone started to stare at you now. You know where he is? Midoriya said with a happy smile. Yes, but I need your help getting him back. What do you mean, getting him back? Did Valence take him? Yes, you could say that. It was actually demons. <laughs> demons? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Bakugo goes. Bakugo goes said. I'm being serious. Angels and demons don't exist. Really? So you live in a world with people with powerful quirks. And you're saying angels and demons don't exist? And I thought humans were intelligent. No offense. Fabu goes, I swell with anger. Watch what you're saying. All right, fine. You want me to prove them are real? Yeah, sure. How are you going to do that? You quickly revealed your halo and wings. Pfft. Stupid cosplay. Okay, fine. Who wants to go ahead and tug on them and make sure they're real? Gerald quickly walked up from her seat and pulled on your halo and wings. They're real. See? I told you. No, that aside. I need your help. Getting thank you back from the demons. Will you help? Of course we'll help. He's our friend. Deku shouted out. Adawa nodded his head. I'll gather up all the pro heroes and the other students. Mm-hmm. You called your friend who was also a demon, but she was a good demon. She was going to be regularly become an angel, but there was a there was a around the system made her become a demon when they realized that era was too late and she became a fully fleshed demon. So, in return, they made her horns white. To teleport to the demon world, you're going to need an angel and a demon. So, you quickly called her up. When everyone's ready, you guys send them the door. You guys put your hands both on the handles. Or door. Old door of teleportation. The guardian wished to enter. The side, the side of your door opened. Then she put her hand on the door handle. Or old door of transportation. The temptress wished to enter. And the 
door on her side also opened. He quickly handed out some stuff. It was pills. Uh, why are you giving us these? Oh, it's something to help you breathe. There's not really a lot of oxygen in hell, so I think you're going to need this unless you want to suffocate. Everyone nodded. Alright, you ready? You ready, everyone? Mm-hmm. You quickly stepped in the portal. Everyone went slowly up in their hero suits. You guys look like you was from a movie poster. You walked into the demon's castle. You were greeted by many guards, but you was able to fight them off. Then, you found, then you found Denki. We were so excited. We quickly ran up to him. But as soon as he hugged him, he felt something slicey in the stomach. It was a blade. It was, un, it was an unholy blade, so it was even more deadly. He looked up. The figure wasn't Denki. It was, a sh it was an illusion demon that tricked you. Deku and Kirishima rushed by your side, catching you. Mina carried you back to UA so you can, so recovery girl can heal you. And then the fight continued without you. Only two hours later, you woke up in recovery girl's office. She told you about how Mina brought you here. Then you remembered everything. You had to go back to them. Even though there was a sharp pain in your stomach, you had enough strength to get up and go. You quickly rushed there. Then... He saw everyone lying on the floor. Well, almost everyone. Only Aizawa, President Mike, Mina, Deku, Katsuki, and Todoroki were left standing. Most people are on the floor injured or unconscious. You let your wings you let your wings come out all the way. You are not going to let your friends get hurt like this. Well, at least you can call them that. He started fighting off the demon. Of course, he aimed for your stomach, knowing that was your weak point since you were injured. During the fight, you, most, you coughed up blood multiple times, but you just kept going. The only the person on your mind was your, was your now boyfriend, Denki. You're not going to let anything get in your way of saving him. As you finally you finally gave the last blow. Relief washed over you until you passed out again. Because you kept up because you kept up coughing so much blood. When you woke up, you was back in recovery girl's office. You saw Danky sitting next to you. He had bandages on. Thank you. He slowly gripped his hand. Oh my god, listen, are you okay? Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you, sweetheart. He said in a soft tone. <laughs> so glad to see you. Of course, your mother was upset that you got hurt, but she was overall glad that it wasn't nothing serious. Then, then you finally met your parents. At first, he thought it was your dad he should be terrified, but now he figured out it was your mom. But he warmed up to them eventually. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the story. Sorry if it's a little trashy. Um, Tomorrow, I'll be doing an Attack on Titans one. Or I'll post it today. Who knows? Anyways, guys, have a nice day, night, whatever time you're watching this. Bye.